Welcome everyone to another tutorial. So today we are going to see how to do a small and simple camera shake. As you can see here, whenever I just do the left mouse click, you can see the camera shakes. And the shake is very clean and very fluent. So and the code base is also very easy. So let's not waste much time and let's get started and see what's there in the code inside of you. So let's see how we have uh, implemented actually the things here. So we just got a basic camera here, which holds the shake script and the shoot script. You can use shoot script in any other game object and present in your scene with a reference to the main camera. So, so let's see what's inside the shake script which actually handles the shake here. So as you can see we got all the basic using implementations here and the class name. See we have got two floats here. Shake duration for the amount of time the shake should be happening and the shake intensity is the amount of shake that will happen like uh, how much amount it will go left, right, up or down. We got a vector 3 uh, variable here which just holds the initial position of the camera or the game object you want to seek. The current seek duration which just takes uh, the reference or just it's like just acts as an indicator to hold the amount of time the seek is happening or not. So in the start we have initial position which holds the local position means whenever the game is started it will just take the local position of the object and store it in the initial position game variable game object here variable which is uh, declared here which is type vector 3 so in update we have got a condition first we are going to check if current shake duration is greater than 0 ok so before understanding this we must see that whenever this there is a function called shake here down ok whenever this shake is called current duration is set to shake duration ok so whenever you just invoke this shake function it will just set shake duration to shake whatever amount you have set okay then the shake duration will change which will become greater than zero then this thing will be called here okay so it will check if shake duration is greater than zero then it will take random position inside the unit sphere like if the game object is there there will be unit sphere surrounding so in that area random point will be taken in that unit sphere around your object randomly okay and if you multiply with shake intensity it will just multiply with the amount of variable like initially it's multiplied by a unit like one but if you multiply it with shake intensity the area can go little larger so amount of shake intensity will be also more okay so we will just use random dot inside unit sphere into shake intensity and we will set using and we will set the position local position here to the initial position which was the initial position of the game object plus the random offset which we got from here okay so it will move randomly in that position and then we will also decrease the current duration with time not delta time it's just like a timer which will just keep on decreasing after each change in position okay so when the timer has ran out which which means current shake duration becomes zero this whole if statement condition will be forced out then we will go to this else statement here this else statement will just set its local position to initial position so that's all for the shake script here okay so we got uh, here uh, four variables here the start condition and if there is a shake and if there is no shake and just we are using the shake function to invoke the shake okay so this is just a shake function that will be put in your object okay which will do the shaking like for this instance i have the i want the camera to shake so that's why it's holding the shake here another thing we need is to invoke the shake function which we created so that shake can happen so you can just do it in your shoot script or gun script wherever you want just go into that script and then just take a reference like see go into that script wherever you want like just take a reference like if the left mouse button is clicked for the for this code there is a condition i put if the left mouse button is clicked that shake should be invoked so first we need to get the reference so public shake and s okay let's say the variable name for that reference script and then we can just invoke it here like s dot shake here so that's all for the coding part here like it's a very easy and simple code and then just you can go there take your shake and uh, put it in the reference here like uh, here okay and then whenever you will just do the play and then just to left click it will be shaking okay how many times you can also change the values here to your desired likings here like uh, you can just change reduce and just play with it i have just put a 0 0.1 and 0 0.2 here just for this case but that's all for this uh, tutorial today hope this is very helpful and uh, very simple 
and give me some suggestions on what I should make next videos on. It will help me a lot to create better content for you. And that's all for today. Hope uh, hope you all are doing well and see you next time. Have a great day. Bye.